Hello everyone and uh, I'm, I'm Johnson. I'm gonna teach you how to write a file from Linux C++ to a .ppm format as a binary format. It's quite easy. Uh, I wanted to have this solution because I'm working on a ray tracer and I didn't want to have lots of external libraries to this. It's a different project so. So first what you have to do is open the file I have. Of course including the, the headers as well otherwise you're not gonna really to do this, we have to open it in binary mode, so we have to specify a binary flag in there. Normally, you would check if a file opened correctly, but for this small application, just for showing it, I'm not gonna, gonna do that. So, to write something to this file, you have to use the write function, the dot write function, basically. It's, it's from the standard library. Uh, the signature is uh, Character pointer and a stream size. For the character pointer, you can just write a character pointer, which is a string, in this rule and C++, and then say that your size you want to write is two. You can also say three, but then you will include the null terminator, which we don't want. But we do, we do want a space for the first two bytes, and then the third, third byte has to be a white space. That's how the how the the plugin. The header is built up the ppm header now i'm working on this header it contains some information then we write another number in ascii basically this number specifies the width of the file for example 512 also include a space there and now we have four characters Ooh, i forgot something in the first p6 and p6 we also have two characters but you also have a space so we actually have three characters which is three bytes so change this to three for 512 we have Three characters, but one white space, which also a character. So four characters, which is four bytes. Then we write 512 again because that's just, that's the height, basically the image. First one's the width, second one's the height. And then we write the maximum color value, which is means each RGB component has three components. You can see in the top here, sample my RGB strip basically it has three components red, green, and blue, and each component is one byte. And one byte is, the maximum value of a byte is 255, basically. So, we're gonna write each component to one byte. So we make a loop. We can actually make this in one loop if you want to. I don't really Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. And then what we do is we make a sample, and the sample can be, for example, just green, uh, red, I mean, this or red and green. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm a little color expert. And then the last thing we have to do is just write this to the file, which, uh, well, to write this, we have to cast this to a character pointer. So we take the address of our struct, cast it to a character pointer which we interpret cast, and then uh, the size of this would be a sample, which is basically three bytes, but sample anyways, if you change something it will still work. And this should actually compile and work. So let's try to compile this. Files. Let's try to run this. This ran. And let's open this in a hexadecimal viewer and we can see every header stuff here, the whole header is correct. So let's now open this in a file browser. So it didn't save the file. But did it uh did it save this? Ah, oh it did, but my, my file browser didn't. So we have a yellow image now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and good luck, I guess.